we're here in Design Space today, and I am going to go over how to make a split monogram file today. So first, over here on the left side of your screen, you're going to go to Text, and it doesn't matter what font you use for this, you can just choose whatever font you like, um, and the process will be the same depending on what you've chosen. So I am going to choose this little lock over here and I'm just going to resize this just a little bit and that's about how I want it. So I've got my letter and the first thing that you're going to do here is you're going to come over here to shapes on the left side of your screen and then you're going to choose square from this. Okay, and you can see that it's put in a big square there. And so now you can kind of play with it and decide where you want to split the file. Um, so I could split it kind of like down here, I could split it, I mean I wouldn't split it up there, but you could. Um, and that's really just based on your personal preference. I'm going to choose to go about right here. All right, and then so as you see I've got this fully covering you want to make sure that you don't have like you can't put it here because this on the left side sticks out so you want to make sure that you're covering the entirety and if you need to you can resize your square okay so I've got what the part covered that I'm going to split and then what you need to do is select the entire file and you're going to come down here at the bottom right of your screen and you're going to hit slice. Okay, and that just sliced my file. I don't need the rest of this square, so I'm going to erase that. Don't need that. And then this has just cut that to how I need it to go. Okay, and then I'm going to make this just a little bit larger just to make it look right. And that looks out where I want it to be. Okay, so I've done that. Now I'm going to come back over here to shapes and I'm actually going to do another square here. And what I'm going to do on this is actually just make this into a line here. That's not, well, we'll see, we'll play with it. And I'm going to come bring this over here. I want that to be just a little bit thinner yeah there we go okay and then I'm just going to select that and copy it so that I have two and you want to make sure that you are lining those two lines up exactly okay so now I'm going to select the top half of this and I'm going to come down here again to the bottom right and I'm going to choose weld. Okay, and now you can see when I move this around that is now one object. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the bottom. Um, actually before I do that though, looking at it I think I am just going to make this just a little bit larger again. And yeah, that looks a little better. Okay. I'm going to bring this back now, make sure it's lined up where I need it to be. And you do want to make sure that it is just barely overlapping the rest of your letters in order to use that weld feature. So I'm going to select this bottom half again, come down to the bottom right, and I'm going to choose weld. Okay. So now this top part is one piece and the bottom part is one piece. Okay. And um, what you can do is you can group these just so that they move together. So if I want to move this and adjust it, um, and then you can also adjust the size as needed, however you want. Okay. And then, so there's your split file. Now, if you want to add like your name or something like this in between, you can do that as well. So I'm going to come down here. And this isn't the font that I really want. I would suggest using a different font for whatever you have in the middle there. Um, 
and that's definitely not what I want either. Um, and really, again, this is just your your user preference. It doesn't matter what font you use here. Um, this process will all be the same. That's definitely not what I want. Um, so I'm just messing around here looking for a font that I like. Um, there we go. That's better. Um, and then I'm going to kind of size it again here how I would like it to be. Okay. And there we go. Okay. So there is how we've done our split file there. Um, and you, what you can do is you can actually save this and then you can easily edit the name that's in here. And that way you don't have to redo the file every time you want to do that letter. Um, so there you go. There you have it. That's how you make a split file. And thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure to like, share, and comment. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more crafting tips and tricks. Thanks so much, guys. See you next time.